Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I'm SK, and I'm the moderator for this webinar. Today, I welcome you all to an exciting e discussion on procurement reality and automation to be achieved through developing an intelligent supplier network, which makes all the difference during these difficult times of a global pandemic when physical networking is a huge challenge for executives working across industries. I would like to inform you that this session is being recorded and will be made available for reference and evaluation. However, if anyone have any reservations, you are at liberty to log off for the session. So moving ahead, during the session, our speakers will be switching between the live demos and the presentation slides to make it more impactful. You can maximize your screens as per your convenience and all your queries will be answered by relevant speaker in the QA section towards the end of the session. So make use of the best uh, in the next 60 minutes to understand and assimilate the nuances of the topic we are about to discuss. Now, I would like to introduce the speakers for today who come with strong experience and expertise in the fields of procurement and automation. So we have with us today, Mr. Srini Santanam, an expert in executing intelligent enterprise transformations with Big Five Consulting background with, who managed multi-million dollar portfolio. We also have Mr. Amaretti, who has vast experience in the digital transformation space. He enabled numerous organizations to meet their requirements by establishing digital connection with suppliers. And we also have our procurement guru, Mr. Mahesh Reddy, who is instrumental in delivering several global procurement transformation programs. Now, may I request our first speaker, Srini, to take it over and start the presentation. Thank you all. Over to you, Srini. Thank you, SK. What an amazing day. Um, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for joining this session. Um, just uh, today, we're going to talk about some of the uh, current uh, thing uh, going on in the procurement space. The procurement, um, you may be seeing a lot of um, organizations, they have a mandate to go on digitization due to the cost pressure or due to the pandemic issues we're going through or due to the competition in play. So we have a lot of things uh, going on. Um, in the procurement space, uh, everybody want to make sure uh, it's no longer used to be like um, they used to do like a um, year long, four years, five years transformations. Now, now everybody want to see the quick um, realization. They want to see the results in um, four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, right? Like that. So the organization cultures also changed to see the quick value now. Um, even uh, some of the companies, what we're noticing, uh, they're not able to answer uh, certain basic questions, right? What is the status of my invoice? Is it approved or rejected or barred or whatever the status, right? So like that, some basic questions, uh, organization, they were not able to answer. Like, uh, do I have the new order? Is there any changes in my order, right? Because before the PO comes, right, it takes in days certain things there. Even they send the email, certain times the email go to other folders, like that. A lot of uh, serious issues there. So did my customer receive my goods and services? Is it on time fulfillment, right? Am I getting paid on time? Is it like any challenge on my payment, right? When I'm going to receive my payments? Uh, do I have the leads to respond, right? Because the leads can go to RFQ, right? So like that, a lot of uh, standard questions. Uh, many companies, they're not able to answer. Um, so these kind of um, uh, challenges uh, creates uh, cash flow issues, forecasting challenges, uh, and hard to predict like um, what is my demand and supply. Um, it creates a compliant issue um, and also like uh, the compliance issue uh, can lead over uh, the overspending in the organization. 
um, uh, at the end of the day, it impacts your bottom line, the financial bottom line, right? So that's what we need to be prepared. We need to see how do we make our culture change, right? So that's what we're going to talk a little more in detail there. So the, also the new challenge for every organization is like uh, adopting the new normal. Uh, because the new normal way you need to follow immediately, right? Because nobody expected this pandemic will happen, but you have to be prepared, organization to be prepared for plan B options, right? For example, if my supplier, uh, my primary supplier not able to give my supplies for all my critical emergency activities, uh, I need to find out quickly my supplier, uh, basically like a tier two, tier three suppliers like that as an alternative, right? So if you want to find all these um, alternatives, you need a, the supplier automation is a key there. So you need to find out some uh, quick way of um, uh, finding the supplier there. So, uh, and also many organization, they focus on their ERP only, right? their ERP cannot talk to all their stakeholders, right? You need to talk to all your, the supplier is a, a key role in any organization. You need to make sure, how do you talk to your MRO supplier? How do you talk to your marketing suppliers, like um, contract manufacturers, uh, raw material suppliers, like that you have, a, your ecosystem is big, you need to make sure you have a good way of connecting all your suppliers together then. So that's a kind of uh, challenges what we're seeing uh, in the current um, um, trends happening now. Um, if you see the beauty B2B collaboration, how people typically they used to do, they used to have a uh, sending like a calling phone card uh, or like um, sending a greeting cards sending information like um, fax, EMS and all, they used to do. And then you see the email became the next evaluation, the email, chat, SMS and all. And then people start EDI. EDI is one of the complex process, right? When you do exchange document electronically, you need to have like uh, knowing all the details of the connections, etc. So it's not a seamless connection. Um, EDI. Um, then what people start doing now, they are moving along with a more like a B2B collaboration. They want to make sure business to business talk seamlessly, right? So I am a customer, basically like a, I am a buyer. I want to buy something. Uh, my I just want to send my PO. He immediately need to approve. So that's a kind of uh, collaboration which every organization is expecting. So our focus is going to talk more on the B2B collaboration network here. See, this is a, one example how the accounts payable in the, any organization going through the challenges. Uh, even we noticed a couple of our customers recently, they have still have a lot of paper documents. Then we were having the conversation, why can't you convert electronically? There is an electronic invoicing available. So why can't you leverage it? Then we showcase a demo and be able to deliver the solution also. Uh, after the, doing that kind of uh, solution, uh, uh, they felt like um, all the uh, importance of the uh, results there. So basically like uh, they re literally reduced their backlogs by 50% within three months because they used to pile up their invoices too much in their, they are a manufacturing company. So they should, they need to have a lot of paper documents. They transformed everything to electronic and which reduced a lot of their AP process, cleanup process also. Not only it's helping cleanup, it also complains, right? Many times you have like a duplicate invoices in place. So those are all like the eliminations happened in the duplication invoice there. So, and also this invoice uh, uh, transformation, um, it's more manual approval. So you need to send to the next level AP manager. They have to sign up and approve certain time based on your threshold, you have to go to your CFO also. So these are all certain facts. What we're seeing is the handoff 
it's like happening uh, the approval process taking more time when you do electronic approvals it almost reduced to 63 percent of the faster invoice approvals there so this is the transformation what we're seeing in the industry now so we're dealing with a lot of uh, taking survey with the mid-size and large enterprise now so we seeing such a huge benefit on transmitting to um, electronic invoices now so even gardener pro projected so almost uh, every company can save like uh, at least 30 uh, percent in 2025 if you automate it you can save like uh, all your uh, goods and services cost by uh, 30 percent which is a very good number so that's what with the cost pressure everybody has that gives some kind of like um, advantage uh, and also process improvement and compliance sake there. So if you see here, uh, the, the topic what we mentioned is intelligent supplier network. You may be like asking what is intelligent supplier network? So what we did is SAP came with a slim model for SAP customer. It's called the digital supplier network basically the supplier and buyer can talk seamlessly and uh, we deployed rapid solutions we just want to have these things tied up together so that they can see uh, the one solution basically so we want to automate like within weeks of time frame we don't want even like months there right when we automate this solution we just uh, automating through sap aripa network uh, why SAP Ariba network? They are the largest network in the world. So you can see like uh, five plus million companies in the Ariba network. So even like uh, 33,000 uh, uh, users, 33 million users, you can see uh, 3.7 trillion, which is a huge money is floating through Ariba. All the commerce is happening there. Um, and you see 76% of Fortune 500 companies. So almost they can see 4.4% savings on annual spend. So like that, you see a lot of variations. Um, so uh, that's what we picked the Ariba network is our medium. Then the buyer and supplier can talk seamlessly. So basically like the, if the buyer has a SAP ERP system, they can talk to Ariba and get the things easily, uh, seamlessly, automate the entire process. So if you see the, the middle part, uh, this is our uh, deep market research analysis. We have done some good amount of work with the mid-sized companies and uh, the uh, large companies. We found the data, we got the data based on our implementation experience also. Uh, we got their revenue, like if you are a $250 million company, like if you are 500 million and you have a 1 billion, so then, we did our analysis, how does it's going to help on you? Say if the company like a, a $250 million company, it gives a four times like a, within three, after three years, four times value of the money. So whatever you are investing for this solution, um, basically like a, you have a very good method of reduced time, supplier tra simpler tracking, some la avoid late payment charges, um, so the, the reduced fraud, that's more important because a lot of things you can avoid through automation. So you can have like all the catches put together there. Um, so uh, these are all the solution we have. We're going to talk a little more detail how this is going to be implemented and what kind of things there. Uh, but as a high level, you can see the full digital collaboration with your suppliers. Basically, it gives end to end there. So uh, with this, I want to hand off to my um, uh, colleague, Magesh. He's going to take over and talk through a little more detail how we can implement and et cetera. Thank you, Srini, for that uh, intro. Um, let's keep moving. And uh, I'd like to talk to you about the value that uh, this tool, ISN, provides for you know, stakeholders and um, a, a, you know, functional areas that can use the tool. Um, let's start off with the uh, Chief Procurement Officer area. Um, you know, among other challenges 
one of the, uh, the major challenge or issue that the CPOs face has always been um, e efficient and seamless communication with the supplier, uh, even at the transactional level, uh, which leads to a lot of issues in, in transaction processing cycle time. Uh, they also have issues with leveraging uh, technology uh, because of the rapidly changing uh, you know, landscape, technical landscape. Um, you know, these can be addressed using ISN. You know, uh, as Srini alluded to, uh, ISN, you know, enables organizations to streamline and automate end-to-end -end, uh, procurement processes for supplier communication management. And this results in a much more efficient process, but leads to a direct reduction in cost. Um, not only the transaction uh, processing time, but CPOs will also have a better view of spend across all of their spend categories uh, with this tool. Um, the, for the CFO organizations, uh, you know, one of the pain points has always been uh, invoice processing. You know, the volume of manual processing by, by AP resources, you know, leads to uh, you know, such an error prone and, and labor intensive process uh, because ISN allows seamless communication and order matching. Uh, for example, as the supplier is entering the invoice, right there, before the invoice even gets to the ERP, there's some uh, checks and balances that can be put in place uh, that really makes the process more efficient uh, and, and in reducing the cycle time. And this uh, gives the, uh, the AP department the ability to manage invoices 10 times better than manual processing. Um, you know, this, this faster cycle time obviously has uh, very obvious benefits, you know, taking advantage of, uh, uh, you know, negotiated early payment discounts or not paying late fees. Uh, is, is, is a big thing uh, for the AP uh, organization. And for the CIO and the CDO uh, organizations, the, right now the challenge is the, the S2P space is, is dotted with uh, disparate systems that really operate in silos, you need a lot of work to, to integrate them and, and get a full picture of the entire cycle. You have different systems probably providing you with uh, a, a different uh, numbers and it's very different sometimes uh, very difficult sometimes to reconcile them there's no unified view you know, the, the cost of uh, um, maintaining multiple systems is is quite high and uh, you know uh, ISN uh, addresses these issues by uh, you know enabling a unifying end-to-end -end process and almost 100 percent touchless uh, transactions so this results in really quick uh, realization of value and a significant res uh, reduction in the TCL. Can you please move to the next slide? So uh, let's uh, uh, quickly talk through uh, what uh, uh, an ISN uh, implementation or deployment entails. Um, the S2 integrators implementation plan for ISN is a best practice rapid deployment plan that runs anywhere between 10 to 12 weeks. And it, it broadly comprised of uh, four phases. The first phase is the, is the prepare phase, which typically runs two to three weeks and you know, includes tasks like uh, you know, confirming your initial goals and scope, uh, developing the technical checklist, uh, deciding on the team composition and, and uh, identifying team members, uh, installation, prep activities, uh, and uh, things of that nature. Um, the, 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 kick, the kickoff could also be part of this phase, but there could be an overlap with the explore phase as well. We move on to the explore phase again, another two to three week period. Um, uh, you know, software installation during this phase, initial configuration, um, the Ariba network setup where you're uh, setting up, uh, configuring the Ariba network to connect to your ERP. Uh, to uh, allow for information flow. Uh, all your design workshops and, and the system demos uh, take place during this uh, phase. And then you move on to the realization phase where um, 
you know, you implement uh, any customizations or extensions that you need uh, for uh, functionality that comes out of the box. You develop your test plans, executing uh, and execute your test plans as well. Uh, and you develop the, the, the cutover plan to move to production. And then finally, you have the deploy phase, uh, which is uh, typically lasts a week. And uh, you set up your production environment and implement your cutover plan that uh, was developed in the previous phase. Um, so you can see that it's a, it's a very rapid deployment methodology and uh, it works well. Um, can you please move to the next slide? Um, now I'd like to talk to uh, talk about an, an alternative uh, option in case you're a customer, uh, you know, that, that uh, don't use SAP CC or, or HANA. Uh, this will work with uh, those ERPs as well, but if you don't, this is uh, one of the options that you could uh, pursue, and this is a product called uh, SAP, SAP Ariba Snap. Um, what SAP Ariba Snap is, is it's, it's, an, it's an S2P system, but it's a, it's a content-rich system that is very easy to deploy, very easy to administer, and easy to adopt, and that'll give customers immediate control over spend. Um, like I said, it's a rapid deployment template-based tool that is uh, basically ERP agnostic. Um, you know, customers, the, the amazing thing about this product is that customers will have access to more than 15 million SKUs on day one uh, to, to order from uh, because of the in direct and uh, seamless integration with Ariba Network, uh, which, as Srini said, is the world's largest B2B marketplace with uh, millions of participating suppliers and buyers. Uh, again, this solution also deploys in 12 weeks or less. Um, it is pre-configured with best practices and span categories for your industry type. Uh, and, and that is out of the box on day one. And it's not day one after go live, it's day one during impl implementation if you choose to. Uh, that's, that's how much information comes out of the box in this product. And so customers can really uh, uh, realize extremely quick time to value with this product. And, and uh, you know, this tool can be viewed as, uh, as an entry into the uh, Ariba functionality without the full scale investment in time and cost of, of the full feature Ariba product suite. Um, next slide, please. Uh, let's walk through just a, just a quick uh, scope of this product. Uh, what suppliers, uh, buyers and suppliers uh, can do. Um, this, is, this is not a comprehensive li list, but is just intended to highlight some of the major capabilities of the tool. So from a buyer standpoint, you can see that, you know, your, your typical, uh, you know, uh, P2P uh, tasks like creating an RFQ or purchase orders or goods receipts, so, uh, you're responding to service entry sheets uh, that were entered by your suppliers. Um, you know, uh, updating invoice status for invoices that were received and, and remittance advice as well. Uh, uh, buyers can do all of this stuff uh, using this uh, tool and, and communicate it to their even network where the supplier can then, you know, respond to the quotes or enter order confirmations, uh, advanced shipping notices. They can enter service entry sheets for service uh, uh, POs. Uh, and, and of course, they can enter their uh, invoices. Uh, for payment. So uh, the supplier communication for the P2P cycle can really be co covered in its entirety using this tool. Um, I would also like to point out that there is native integration from the Ariba network to SAP S4 HANA or ECC with this tool. So as, as documents are created in your ERP system, they get transmitted to the Ariba network automatically. Uh, once the integration is complete, where suppliers have immediate access to those documents. And, and keep in mind, uh, this can be achieved without building any EDI processes, which, as we all know, can be time consuming and, and uh, there's a lot of restrictions in, in that uh, methodology. The product also comes with, uh, you know, about 120 business rules out of the box that can be used um, you know, on day one. Um, and, and 
this list is ever expanding as, as the product continues to evolve. Um, so the suppliers that you want to do business with need not have an account on the Ariba network uh, when you start off. Uh, if they start off with not having an account, they can still transact with you in under an hour. They can create what is called a standard account, which is free of charge for the supplier. So, uh, you know, that, that makes it very convenient for, for supplier onboarding to start your uh, relationship with them. Um, one other point I'd like to uh, uh, point out is that this uh, product is, is going to evolve because it's a strategic direction that uh, the vendor wants to go in. And the evolution, the logical evolution of this product is uh, along uh, to support more supply chain functionality beyond the basic uh, procurement functionality already that's available right now. So uh, now I would like to request Amar Reddy to lead you through a more detailed discussion and demo about the uh, ISN tool. Over to you, Amar. Hello all and welcome to the ISN demo. Let's start looking at actual functionality of ISN tool. We are presenting to you the document flow of ISN tool, which represents the collaboration of buyer and supplier over a supplier portal. Buyer has SAP S4 HANA system and the supplier is accessing supplier network by logging, in, logging into the account. Let's take the first step here. The buyer is signaling a demand by creating a purchase order in SAP system. And that purchase order is received by the supplier and he can access it in his supplier portal. Next, supplier will review the purchase order and confirm to the buyer that he is able to process the sub purchase order by sending a PO confirmation. This PO confirmation updates the purchase order in buyer's S4 HANA system. As the days for the purchase uh, delivery come nearby, supplier will send an advance ship notice, which includes the exact date of delivery. And he also has the facility of providing the tracking number and uh, related information. And this advance ship notice gets updated in the purchase order and the buyer can access the advance ship notice information in the purchase order. Buyer will receive the goods in SAP and the goods received that is created in SAP S4 HANA system is sent over to the supplier and he can access it in his portal. And as per the terms with the buyer, the supplier creates and sends the invoice to the buyer. And the process of creating an invoice through a purchase order slip happens here. This reduces the mistakes or any wrong information by the supplier while creating the invoice. So as the, as the supplier, as the buyer receives his invoice, account payable team takes over, reconciles the invoice and releases the invoice for payment. And the buy supplier receives the invoice status update. And this is the document flow that we are going to show in a real live system now. Let's jump into the demo. The demonstration begins from us acting as a buyer in SAP S4 HANA ERP system. And this 
system has a natural extension to supplier portal. This is a standard connection provided by SAP. In my demonstration, we are using SAP S4 HANA system with Fiori application, hence the change of the interface here. But you can also, if the buyers do not have a SAP HANA system, they can still use their older ECC system with, without Fiori application and connect to the supplier portal. Collaboration between a buyer and a supplier starts with a purchase order. To quickly create a purchase order, we will search for an existing purchase order, select it, and copy it. Yeah, let's wait for the common purchase order to be created now. If we look at our um, items that are being ordered as a part of this purchase order, you can, if you go to the items block, the material is identified there and the material group is displayed, automatically selected and the ordered quantity is displayed and the price negotiated with the supplier is also displayed. Everything looks nice. And let's take a detailed information of this particular material that is being ordered. Yeah, now if you take a look at the delivery address, now we, I want this material to be shipped to Palo Alto. That's identified in the delivery address. If you still come down, we can see what tax has been automatically identified. Yeah, the tax, the tax information is displayed, the jurisdiction is displayed and tax code is displayed. This gives us a net result of what actual tax amount would be. Now let's apply this thing. Yeah, now we can order this purchase order. Let's wait for a few more seconds before system completes the creation of the purchase order and sending the purchase order to the supplier. That is represented by the status of the purchase order. Yeah. If we take a look at the status, the status says sent. Sent tells me that this particular purchase order was sent to the supplier and supplier can access this purchase order over his portal. Let's go to the supplier portal. Now let's take a look how supplier receives this purchase order. Yeah, a supplier can receive a purchase order in many number of ways. He can receive an email with the, uh, with the purchase order. He can use his browser as being demonstrated to you. He can use this browser to log into his account in the supplier portal. Or he can also use mobile applications which are available on Android and iOS uh, smartphones. So there are these are the three ways. We are using the browser, the buyer, supplier is logging into his account here. And once he logs onto it, the landing page displays a dashboard. This dashboard contains many widgets. It gives him the new purchase orders he has received. It gives him the information. Uh, how many purchase orders he has to still invoice. It tells him how many of his invoices were rejected by the buyer. It tells him how many orders he has to ship. He has, it also tells him how many invoices are pending payment. So these are some of the, these are some of the information, cool information that is being presented to the supplier. And this indicates all his collaborations with various buyers. Now let's go to inbox and click the purchase order where the, he can see his purchase orders. Yeah. Let's select the purchase order that he has received today. The top one is the latest one. And let's click on the purchase order. And now it's time for the supplier to look at the data and validate the data. Now, yeah, he can see the ship to address, the bill to address, the information of the buyer and the items that are being ordered, the unit price, the negotiated price you can see, he's comfortable with that, the quantity is also, he's comfortable with the quantity. Now it's time for him to send an order confirmation. And while sending the order confirmation, yeah, he's confirming the entire order. Yeah, 
he gives a confirmation ID number. And if you take a look, this order confirmation has defaulted the purchase order. He doesn't have to remember anything. It just defaults. Now he provides the delivery date here. He can provide any comments there. And you know he can identify the shipping cost, estimated tax cost. These are some of the information. Once he has done that, he goes back to the line items, make sure that the ordered items are represented correctly with their quantity and the price. Yes, he's like, everything looks good. Now he's going to click the next and submits the order confirmation. Now let's now go back to the buyer side of the world and we'll see if buyer has received this order confirmation. Now we are going to the item details. And once there, once we are in the item details section of the purchase order, we'll click the supplier confirmation tab, which takes us to the supplier confirmation block. And you can see the updated information from the supplier. It tells him he has received the order confirmation, the delivery date, and the supplier is comfortable supplying three pieces of the material. Now, let's go back to the supplier portal. And it's time for the supplier to send an advance ship notice. Now that the day of uh, goods delivery has arrived, he's sending an advance ship notice, which basically gives, you know, he's creating this advance ship notice by providing an ID number there. And the delivery date, which is required. And, you know, if you take a look, a close look at this uh, ship notice header block there, on the right side, there is a tracking information where you can see a lot of carriers there. And, you know, the supplier can identify the correct carrier and you know pro can even provide the tracking number there a shipping date can be sent you know there are there is a lot of information which a supplier can send over his shipping notice now if we come down yeah we can take a look at the material that is being sent the customer part number, the quantity, the price, everything looks good. Let, let's click next. And let the supplier submit the advance ship notice. Now it's time for us to go back to the SAP HANA system and let's refresh the system so that the supplier confirmation of advance ship notice can be received or can be viewed in HANA system, yeah. Click on supplier confirmations. Yeah. yeah, now you can see the second confirmation. It has the exact delivery date, the time, the quantity that, we, that will be shipped to him. Now, on the day of material, the, sub, the buyer receives the material, creates a goods receipt notice and sends the goods. We are not displaying all that activity right here in this particular demo, but let's assume the buyer has sent the supplier with the goods receipt. But as per the paying terms now, it's time for the supplier to send an invoice to the buyer. So what he does here, he flips this purchase order to create his notice to create his invoice, I'm sorry. Let's create on the standard invoice there. And now the purchase order is flipped to create the notice. And let's input an invoice number. If you see close, now the purchase order is defaulted here. The totals, the subtotals, the amounts, everything is defaulted from the purchase order into the invoice. This is the beauty of purchase order flip to create an invoice. Yeah, let's uh, come down to see what material the su supplier want to include in this particular. If you see there in the item, in the material block there, right next to the item number, there is an include button. This is one functionality which the supplier can use very effectively. He can, if there are multiple materials, it allows the supplier to only select a material 
to be included in the invoice if there is a requirement such like that so he clicks on the include button and he also has the flexibility of deciding the quantity that needs to be invoiced so he does that now clicks on next then he validates all the information on the invoice like bill to ship to yep the ship to address is correct the material that is being is sent correct the quantity the price everything now if we come down yep once he validates everything and everything is to his satisfaction he clicks on the submit button now let's go back to the buyer side of the world finally if we come here and now let's click on the process flow this is where the document graphical representation of documents is displayed let's refresh it so the system displays the incoming invoice document perfect now we see the invoice here it's in a parked status if we click on the invoice yeah the account document is displayed click on the account document and now the supplier invoice is displayed and the account payable team can post this after due validation they can post this invoice Yeah, the invoice is posted, and once the invoice is posted, this can be picked up in the payment schedule run. And once the schedule run is completed, the payment status can be sent to the supplier, which he can view in his portal. This is the end of the demo. So, Trini, over to you. Thank you, Amar. Um, I'm glad uh, you were able to show everything in live, the end-to-end, -end, like um, the seamless interaction with the live S4 system and uh, live Ariba system. It's outstanding. So that's what the things we talked about, the seamless way of talking between the systems there. Um, I'm switching to just a few uh, things about um, the company. Just to want to give like um, who is uh, S2 integrators, some basic things we want to um, just uh, tell how our delivery model. Um, S2 integrators primarily a business outcome based model. We focused on business outcome. Uh, for example, you want to reduce like 5% um, of your indirect spend um, we have a model to solve the business problem than technology. So that's what we go and approach the customer. How can we solve like um, more like a business problem? You want to reduce like a 2% spend. You want to see the global visibility, like uh, one of our customer based out of Chicago, uh, they had a challenge on uh, having integrating supplier. Uh, they have a multiple region they used to see like all regions separately. Um, so when they integrate all the vendor ecosystem together globally, they are able to accomplish like um, seven to eight percent immediate result by having the complete integration. So that's what the model we focus with the customer there. And we have a global delivery center available. So we have in uh, multiple locations. Uh, that's our differentiator. And we come with a strong Ariba and finance background. Um, we have uh, done like um, um, several implementations. Um, that, that's our uh, biggest differentiation factor. And only one among, uh, only handful of companies uh, done the S4 on a cloud certification. We are one among them, very, very handful. I would say probably less than 20 companies in the country. We are one proud to say we are one among them. And same thing, we got the ISN certified by 
SAP. Uh, proud to say, only handful of partner in that aspect too. Uh, very less um, companies who are certified in this um, um, uh, product. Um, and this uh, product, it's not ending. They want to implement, keep on adding more and more direct spend and many other things coming in the ISN. That's what we want to focus. And also we bring various industry accelerators. So those are all some key differentiator just to want to uh, tell who we are. Uh, if anybody need more details, be happy to share more details offline. So next slide, please. So a couple of uh, things we want to just um, reiterate what we have covered um, just to um, it's more like um, for your referral sake. This ISN is a buyer supplier, very tightly connected network. And um, you can do more like a fast and accurate transaction. Um, and also this is a foundation for your company. Then you can um, adopt the other areas, the procurement, supply chain, uh, finance, you can expand to different landscape here. And this is a many-to-many -many collaboration. That's a very important thing. Um, you can easily talk to any suppliers seamlessly. Um, this product is um, primarily mean for, the ISN is mean for SAP and S4 HANA. See, the non-SAP customers can ask, like, is it not, uh, can, cannot be used? This product can be used. But their licensing model is very high for non-SAP customer. If you are a larger enterprise, you may adopt that option, the non-SAP option. Uh, but primarily our focus is more on the SAP, ECC and S4. So what is a solution for non-SAP customer? It's SAP Ariba, SNAP. SNAP comes with the, the ISN functionalities. So you can leverage the similar functionality with the Ariba Snap as well. So that's what Mahesh has covered in detail, what is Ariba Snap. And a couple of things to re reiterate is, um, the SAP competitors, the ERP competitors, do not have any similar solution. That's a very important thing. Um, they are the one who are leading in this space. Um, we haven't seen like uh, nobody in the market as a competitive product now. Um, the other thing is, uh, the Gardner statement we want to echo again. Um, by 2025, organizations using P2P will save 30%, which is a very good number. So that's what like um, the spend wise, they can minimize their spend there uh, by automating. Um, so a lot of uh, background data on this research. Uh, anybody need that Gardner white, white paper, we are happy to share. So. Um, next is next slide, please. Um, SK, you can take over. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for wonderful and detailed presentation by Srini, Mahesh, and Amar Reddy. So I hope all your questions are answered and addressed. In case you have any more detailed questions. Uh, you'll be receiving the presentation deck along with the recording session uh, from an email ID. You can reply to the email ID with your questions. All right. Thank you so much, all the participants. Have a nice day. Thank you, presenters and speakers. Have a nice day. Bye.